Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Heavy Hitters Champions H6 Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Heavy Hitters Champions H6 Boxing Gloves. These are a new and improved version over the previous model of the H6 that Heavy Hitters has made some revisions to to improve the glove. I got mine in the green and white colorway, 14 ounces in Velcro closure. You can also get these in lace up, anywhere between 8 and 16 ounces in multiple different colorways. The gloves are made of full genuine leather construction with a polyester nylon liner, multi layer foam padding over the knuckle area, which has a medium to firm density to it. And to me, it's going to be the biggest change compared to the previous model, which we'll discuss in a little bit more detail here in a second, and the gloves are manufactured in Pakistan now. From a design standpoint, this glove, from a, I guess, size profile, I'd say is more in the medium to compact size for a 14 ounce glove. So comparatively to other 14 ounce gloves, I would say that these are a little bit more on the compact side, which I personally prefer, and some of you guys may prefer that as well. Um, that, that's just a personal preference of mine when it comes to compact gloves, so I definitely like that. The green on here also is a very unique shade of green. I don't think I've ever had um, a pair of boxing gloves in the shade of green. It kind of reminds me of like a military green, uh, not really like a bright forest green in that regard. So I definitely like the look of that. Uh, you know, I guess for a reference point or to kind of compare from a contrast standpoint, I remember there's a, a pair of, of winning gloves, MS series gloves that are in a green colorway. And that's a very bright kind of forest green where to me, this is, uh, a little bit more subdued. So I definitely like the look of that. Um, and I also have the headgear and the groin protector that goes with this. It looks really good in my opinion. So uh, you do have that and I'd say it's a little bit more of a satin finish to the leather. Not very shiny and not it's not matte. It's right in the middle. The oval Heavy Hitters logo. You also have the Heavy Hitters patch rectangular on the back that says Champion Velcro. Black piping around the Velcro that goes all the way around, full length Velcro strap. Nothing too crazy there. That does say H6 for the model designation. You also have the 14 ounce weight tag at the bottom that's stitched to the bottom of the Velcro. Nice big pad of Velcro on the back of the wrist to give you that nice closure. I'd say about mm, maybe three quarters of an inch of firm density foam padding with a softer padding that goes up against your skin or against your hand. And you can see the threads, obviously we'll discuss that in terms of quality here in a second. And I'd say the inside wrist, you're looking at about mm, three quarters of an inch of firm density foam padding. And you can see the inside liner there, it has that navy blue liner. Kind of reminds me of Winning. Winning is one of the few companies that goes with that colorway. Um, you also have the tag, the warning label, and where the glove is manufactured. It says Heavy Hitters, uh, Seoul, Korea, because Heavy Hitters is a Korean brand. Um, it says Use Damp Cloth, Morning Tech. That's pretty much it on the inside right there. Close the Velcro real quick. You do have the standard elastic that keeps the piping together on the inside. Double stitching throughout, ventilated holes on the thumb. On the palm, has a really nice large grip bar that has a good amount of firmness to it, 14 ounces as well as a leather attached thumb. Quality wise, the gloves are pretty good. The weight was pretty much on point. I believe one glove was right at 14 ounces and one was a little underweight, I think at like 13.7. So in terms of weight, they're pretty much on point with weight. No issues in terms of any imperfections with the leather. The stitching is done pretty nice all throughout. I mean, you can see this is an area typically with the majority of gloves where you start kind of seeing the pulling. And that's because that's where the actual bend in the foam is, you know, so they have to basically kind of bunch the leather up and to get that right in terms of, of the stitching. So, I mean, the stitching looks pretty good overall. The back of the wrist is pretty straight. And you can see where the thumb meets the back of the glove. Looks pretty clean. The stitching for the thumb, as well as the attached thumb looks really good. Palm side looks clean. Stitching looks pretty good where the grip bar is, comes across. You can see the actual foam for the wrist support right there on both sides. The inside of the palm, the piping. 
show you guys the inside liner. Again, here's the issue I saw. Obviously the thread where the liner's at, you can see it's starting to fray. I'm gonna get some scissors and cut that off, but I did wanna show that to you guys in the video. The back of the Velcro strap. The weight of the glove is distributed nicely. And again, because you have that really firm foam that allows the structure of the glove not to sag and not to have that, that top how you feel. So the weight distribution is definitely there and on point. So the quality on these are really good overall. Um, the polyester nylon liner, you know, there's always, there's kind of two schools of thought on that. Some people like this style because it is better in terms of like moisture wicking. It doesn't really soak up a lot of sweat compared to the, um, the other types of foamy liners that you see or the microfiber where those tend to soak up sweat and tend to get really hot. So there's kind of a trade off with that. But the only issue with these type of liners is sometimes you get, depending on who manufactured it, you get a lot of excess material kind of bunching up in the finger compartment, like in that area, up in here. Sometimes you feel it on the top of your hand. So it's just depending on the manufacturer that did it on whether or not they did a good job of kind of keeping the material on the inside liner nice and taut where it's not, you don't have an excess amount of material. But overall, the quality on these are really nice. Great colorway as well. Comfort. Sliding my hand in here. The liner actually feels really good. For support feels nice. Um, thumb opening, you see, again, you can usually tell by the thumb piping that comes across. Just from your, just your naked eye, from looking at it from the first time you even get your gloves out of, out of the box. And I, I remember this specifically because when I got uh, my Everlast Elite Pro Fight gloves, I did a review on those like years ago. They were the blue and white ones. When I pulled them out of the box and I ordered them from Everlast, the first thing I noticed was how small this piece of piping was around thumb and automatically, before I even put my hand in it, I was like, man, that's gonna be super tight, uh, even for my hands and I have average size hands. So you can see here, just for reference, how big that piece is. So it allows entry of your thumb and you don't have any kind of pinching or numbing of your thumb. The position actually is really good as well. It's kind of uh, deceiving when you look at the thumb because from the outside, it has like this weird, like kind of bend to it and at least that's the way it's stitched. But to be honest with you, you don't feel any difference between this and some other gloves that have a really pulled in uh, parallel thumb. So in terms of the positioning of the thumb, it feels really good. And you can see that it has a really good pre-curved fist. So when you make a fist, you can see there's not much for me to do. You know, I don't really have to like bend my hand or roll it up and put a lot of effort into making a fist because it's positioned really nicely. And you can see it doesn't pull down on the tip of the thumb. So positioning is really good there, comfortable. Um, you don't have any excess liner in really any part of the hand compartment. Uh, nice size grip bar there, you can feel it. And the uh, the stitching right here is also covered with the liner, so I, I like the fact that they did a good job with that. The glove has a semi-broken in feel. One thing you'll notice about this glove compared to the previous model is going to be the padding uh, primarily. It's, it's definitely denser, so I feel like the previous H6 and even the H7 the padding was extremely soft, um, which I liked a lot, but a lot of people didn't, especially the people that maybe had hand injuries or um, they had, you know, uh, bruised knuckles and they needed something a little bit more firm, a little bit more protective. So I definitely feel that they, they did a better job in terms of using a, a little bit more of a firm density foam pad uh, over the knuckles while still kind of retaining that softness that I prefer in the heavy hitters glove. Um, and you still get that really nice tight hand compartment so you can make an excellent fist. Um, but you can definitely tell it takes a little bit more breaking in compared to the previous model because of the foam being a little bit stiffer. But def definitely the comfort is, is still there, you know, and that's what originally made me really love um, the heavy hitters line of gloves is because um, you can tell that they put a lot of emphasis when it comes to uh, hand comfort. Just like a lot of other companies do, Rival, Phenom, they do a really good job uh, of making your hand uh, place in the best position you could possibly put it in. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is because of that nice pre-curved fist, the positioning of your knuckles is right where it needs to be at. You don't feel like you're, you're punching and you're landing with the front of your fingertips. Uh, you feel like you're actually turning your hands over and you're, and you're really landing on those front knuckles. Uh, protection performance, I'd say that this is definitely a balanced glove. Um, just based on the foam density, the way it compresses on the heavy bag, you can really use these gloves for everything in the gym, um, de de obviously depending on size. Uh, 14 and 16 ounce gloves for sparring. Even for bag work, if you want something a little bit for more precision work, 
speed work hitting the mitts, a little bit more of a, uh, of, I guess you could say, um, a pleasurable experience in terms of hitting the mitts for your hands. Maybe go with like a 10 to 12 ounce pair of these and then you would definitely feel that feedback. Uh, but I'd say that these are pretty well balanced right in the middle. You get excellent crack out of these gloves. You can see that the, the surface flattens out nicely when you land and you make contact. And the more you use these gloves, the more that will kind of flatten out. Obviously the natural progression of using your equipment. But from the get go, you definitely land on those two front knuckles and, and definitely get a nice feeling and sensation that you're making contact with whatever surface or someone's face that you're landing on. So definitely feels good in that regard. Cost wise, uh, to me is a big negative with this glove. Now, one thing I noticed is all in all, they've increased their prices uh, with their gloves. You know, you know that, that being said, I know that worldwide there's been inflation. So there's companies that have to increase their prices because the price of, of goods have gone up and the materials to create gloves. So that's understandable. One thing I don't like about these gloves is that they go up in price depending on size. So um, I believe they start off at like $147, $147, $149. Around 147 for their eight ounce gloves. And they go all the way up to $215 um, for their uh, 16 ounce gloves. And I think the 14s were like 197. So just depending on the weight you get, um, will determine the price and that's a pretty big jump in price and I don't like that at all. I really think, you know, if you're going to price a glove, you should give the same price regardless of what size it is um, because you're kind of taking yourself out of that, it, you know, that person's budget. You know, if somebody's looking to get 16 ounce gloves of this type and then they're like about to click add to cart and then they realize, oh, that's right, I got to click on 16 and then now they see this ju big jump in price they might just decide to change their mind and be like, you know what, I don't want to pay for that um, because that's just out of my budget. So I think that's a big, in my opinion, a big, uh, a big problem um, in terms of pricing with this glove. To me, it should be consistent throughout or find a happy median. You know, if, if you're going to price these gloves, maybe pick $160 or $170 and price it at that. But with that being said, if you were to get these at 14 or 16 ounces around the $200 range, I definitely think they're overpriced considering what I paid for them before and what other gloves are out there in the market. You know, to me, this is, you know, at most around a $150 glove, regardless of size of what you get. Um, so again, I, that's just my personal thought on it, using all the gloves I've used in the past compared to these are a great glove, but I just think it's too expensive, especially for the larger sizes for what you're paying for. And 147 for the eight ounce gloves. You're not gonna find too many people going with eight ounce gloves just because that's more of your fight glove size. You might find pros that use that for their training to kind of custom themselves to a smaller glove. Um, but again, I just the price difference is, is, is too drastic uh, for this glove in my opinion. So uh, the main pros for this glove is going to be the quality, it's definitely solid quality, good comfort. Um, I do like the, the variation in sizes and colorways as well as lace-up and Velcro. Um, I definitely like the, the firmer padding they use. It's not as soft as before, but it still kind of re retains that feedback that you're looking for with being a little bit more protective. Um, the cons I would say is the weight was just a hair off, uh, being a little bit underweight with one of the gloves. Um, and then the biggest one is going, well, actually, and then just the stitching at the, bo the bottom here where the liner's at kind of fraying. And then obviously the big one, which, which I just discussed was gonna be the pricing is gonna be the biggest con in my opinion. Uh, but outside of that, I really like these gloves a lot. Um, I'm thinking about getting a pair of these, maybe in the same colorway and in lace up, just because I love the way the, the color of this looks and, and use those for my training, so. So if you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, put them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these heavy hitters. Champion H6 boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.